and welcome to Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McElroy. And I'm Taylor Smurl. Well, sisters, have you guys seen the new movie that's out that everybody's talking about, the hottest, most popular movie uh, that is in not the theaters, but definitely more popular than any of those films that are in the theaters, Zoolander 2? No. No. Is that the, the the most popular movie that everybody I don't think is it's the talking most about? Popular. I don't look up these things. I'm not really sure. <laughs> In my world, <laughs> Zoolander <laughs> 2 is out. It's in his world. It's all about the Zoolander 2. And we're all very excited about it. We're all very we excited about it. We trust you. Here in this house. <laughs> all two of you. All, well, there's three of is us the in other this house. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie doesn't Charlie count. also very excited about Zoolander 2? I, Charlie is not familiar with the Zoolander franchise yet. Uh, we will definitely make her familiar. Can she dress up as Zoolander for Halloween this year? Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, if, I mean, yeah. What I'm just going to force that, that on her. She can't decide like yet. Blue suit? She's a baby. She dresses up every day in the month of October. So it's true. Yeah, we let her. We let her wear whatever she wants every day. So there are lots of costumes. Zoolander. So oh, Zoolander oh, could be one of them. I'm a little. I feel like I don't know you. If this is. <laughs> <laughs> How have we grown up together? And I, I didn't see this coming. Really? Zoolander 2? I really... So, <laughs> if you're not familiar with Zoolander, <laughs> Zoolander was a movie that came out back in 2001 that was about... Um, it was Ben Stiller as a male model. You just got to leave and come back when you're done. Yeah, it's like a spoof of <laughs> now the modeling Cindy's industry. Tell you the entire anyway, of Zoolander. <laughs> no, that's it. I'm just going to tell you that. And then it, the sequel came out. And why is there a sequel? I mean, because. <gasps> and why did it come out 15 years later? Because Justin and I willed it into existence. It's taken us this long <laughs> to want it bad enough that it would come back. And it did. A 15 year campaign for a sequel. Okay. Yeah, it was really great. What I what I really like is that they they make some comments specifically about like because uh, the two leads, Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson, are male models from a time gone by. Mm-hmm. Like they're considered like old school, and like their whole look is like out of date and out of fashion. And like there's a lot of jokes about that. Like and everything that they're doing is is what you know, I kind of connect with like when we were growing up and what was cool and what was the popular look when I was in high school and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So so are you saying that you weren't in fashion when you were in high school? Uh, I think Taylor can attest to the fact that I was definitely never in fashion <laughs> when we were in high school. <laughs> well, to be fair, I, I, I was wearing your clothes, so I don't think I was either. Were you wearing my clothes? Uh, fair, a fair amount of them. I mean... There was a lot of overlap there. See, I just knowing you all now, I can't ever imagine now Taylor wearing Sydney's clothes no, or Sydney now. wearing Taylor's clothes. No, we definitely had very divergent roads <laughs> when it came to <laughs> fashion. <laughs> we went in very different directions. Now, now my fashion choices are mainly what uh, what tops can I wear that I can get my boobs out of the easiest for, for breastfeeding Charlie. purposes. <laughs> Isn't that how everybody picks their tops? <laughs> that, that's really my number one consideration when it comes to a shirt. Like, ooh, I could have a really, uh, I could have a really hard time getting the girls out of that one. Mm, no, getting the girls out. Getting the girls out. Yeah, my my clothes are basically based on like what's going to show stains the least, such that I can wear it the most amount of times before I have to wash it. Adult. <laughs> Riley, I would say that of the three of us, you are probably currently under the most pressure to wear trendy yeah, clothes. Yeah, because I mean, like, I'm surrounded by all the people who think they're trendy all day, every day, except for Saturdays and Sundays. Do you, would you say you make an effort to stay on trend? Um, I don't even think I do it to, like, be on trend. Like, there's a lot of things that is very that are very popular that I don't wear because I don't like them, but what is considered on trend some of the things i just like so i wear them anyways it's i always thought it was lucky when one of the like fashion trends of the time when i was younger would also be something comfortable (laughs) yeah (laughs) because then i was fine with it yeah then it was not a stretch like i remember one of the things that was briefly in style and and i think riley you may have hinted is back or do you remember when overalls were cool like denim oh, overalls. Oh yeah, with like one shoulder down though. You didn't wear them both. Mm-hmm. If you did, you were a nerd. But did you wear them both up, Sid? Yes. 
<laughs> well, there I mean, you go. They, they seem more secure that way. <laughs> But those were, those were the best. Like I remember when there was a moment in time where I could like throw on a t-shirt and some overalls and be totally in style. And it was just the greatest moment in history for me. Cause I was like, I am comfortable. I, I have lots of pockets, which is highly practical. This is the greatest trend ever. And then it was like, as soon as it was popular, I feel like it vanished. Well, that was like, we had, there were a lot of those like nineties trends that stuck around for most of our youth that were awesome. They were all like big baggy flannel, big baggy sweatshirt, big baggy overalls. It's like we all as as the universe decided, "Hey, let's just let's drop all this nonsense and be super comfy." Yeah, none of you had had like body shapes. You were all just kind of like <laughs> just kind of more of its blobs, big blobs of clothing. Various floral and flannel patterns. <laughs> so we were. <laughs> it's a golden time. <laughs> flannel and floral ghosts just drifting through the hallways Everyone was the same <laughs> shape. No one was bigger than the other because all of you were wearing gigantic sweatshirts and flannels. Yeah. That was very popular. I mean, like if you think about like one of the people, and I, this might this might say a lot, that I considered like a fashion icon was from the television show Clarissa Explains It All. Yeah. The way that that character Clarissa dressed, which was like this weird, funky kind of like different colors and Did patterns. Did she explain it all to you? She, ex- I mean, I understand a lot about life because of Clarissa, <laughs> but uh, she would wear like big giant t-shirts and like leggings and cool sneakers and big jackets over that. And it was just like, ah, this Wait, is the best. Wait, that was cool when you were like in high school? Yeah. Like leggings and big baggy sweatshirts? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, now let me say this. Leggings, I don't think the the trend of leggings being pants was around. I don't remember that happening a lot. I'm still not okay with accepting that. Well, okay, okay. Not like leggings, like the kind you wear under a skirt that are half see-through. I mean like, like I mean like that. I oh, mean okay. well, or that aren't are not aren't necessarily see-through, but you still would wear them under another like right. like shorts or skirt like or something kind like of, that. The kind of thing I consider leggings now is made out of a t- material that if you wore under a skirt, it would be weird because it's like you're wearing pants under a skirt. You know what I'm saying? But are leggings really pants? They're not pants. Yes, they are. There are certain rules to being pants. What are okay. the rules for pants? <laughs> yeah, Taylor, explain to me the rules for pants. You need to have, you need to have a, some sort of like access point, zipper, or button. You need to have multiple pockets, not like the fake ones, which I don't even understand. Why are we symbolizing pocket yet no pocket <laughs> exists? Like, <laughs> I, I have that same problem. I agree with you there. But I bought a like pair of jeans. I know I bought a pair of, I guess, what are called jeggings oh. and they didn't have real pockets. They had fake pockets. And I found <laughs> that and I didn't I didn't realize that when I tried them on. I found that incredibly frustrating. Like I thought they were just sewn together like sometimes pockets and pants are and you just have to tear them apart. And I'm just like trying to rip at them and they're not coming apart. And wait, like, wait, 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 wait. You said like sometimes pockets and pants are. Like have you worn a pant- pair of pants before that you thought the pockets were just sewn into them so you like Hulk, Sydney now, went Hulk and tore them apart. Well, hold up. thing that happens sometimes. It's exactly. True. This yeah, is a eats. real thing. It's dress pants. That's what you've never had dress Dress slacks, apparently, because nice dress slacks, the pockets will have some little stitches in there that you're meant to kind of, I mean, probably use scissors, but I would just kind of like stick my fingers underneath all the stitches and then pull really hard until they popped out. You know what I'm talking about, Classy. Ty? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. That's totally true. I've never worn dress pants. Oh. Well, there you go. Riley, do I you mean, have any real pants or are they all these, these non-pants? These pants you, that are a lie of pants. <laughs> do you count skinny jeans as non-pants if they have... um Okay, Do the pants I wear most. Pants? I the pants, the pants I wear out here. Let me describe to you the uh, <laughs> the the <laughs> details of these pants. Of pants. <laughs> oh, okay, so these are the jeans I wear most often, or the pants I wear most often, other than my leggings. They have three buttons and a zipper. They're high waisted. They have pockets in the front and pockets in the back. Okay. Um, and they are made out of denim, like they're not jeggings, like they're jeans. I think but those... they're skinny jeans. They they're not like loose at the bottom. Like they're not no, like bell no. bottoms. Skinny like, jeans are jeans. Skinny jeans. Okay. I, I vote those are pants. Yeah, those are pants. I wear those most <laughs> often, other than leggings, because I can't wear my leggings to school. But I'll allow then it. I have a pair of jeggings that are all black that I can wear to school because they're thicker material than leggings, uh-huh. and they like, look like the material of jeans except they're stretchy, so they're comfortable like leggings, and they're all black. So I can wear those to school because they're technically allowed. 
I want to know where the line is between, because we've all seen those infomercials for pajama jeans and it's like, <laughs> that's when you've, I mean, I guess that's when we've all given up, right? Is when we're just like, have you seen joggers? Paj- I just want to wear pajama pants all day. How can I make that socially acceptable? Have you seen joggers? Pajama jeans. No, right. I don't know what. Those are mostly like pajama dress, not dress pants, but like pajama khakis, pajama jeans. Are what those, are joggers? Are those the ones with the really low crotch? Uh-huh. Like and like the- a drawstring at the top and like an elastic <laughs> band around your ankles. Like they look like that scene in Mary Poppins when the one guy pulls his pants way far down so he can be a penguin. But uh-huh. they're always like that. Like when Bert dances with the penguin? Is Bert. that what you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. That's the Dick Van Dyke pants. girls. <laughs> Penguin pants. <laughs> Penguin pants. Why would you want a like an extra large crotch in your pants? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, why is that a... I can like, answer that question. <laughs> is, that, is that for people who wear like the pants? For like for adult diaper type situations? Or? You think those are made for like old people <laughs> why well, well, i'm just well the, any, now riley incontinence is, it, is a problem that can that can plague people of many ages are you telling me you wear diapers no I, i'm not saying i do but Taylor, i would not I be ashamed wears diapers. i would not be ashamed if i did i mean but you, you and charlie both wear, wear diapers could easily wear diapers under those pants that's a fair call yeah um no, no is it like the lower the, the lower the crotch the cooler the kid is I that... think once you reach a certain point, it's not cool anymore, <laughs> and it's just like, dude, pull your pants up. <laughs> well, because they're not down, like they're not like they're not saggy. They're just they're at your waist. The but then, like, just if the keeps if on the, going, <laughs> if the crotch gets low enough, are you wearing MC Hammer pants? Like, if it gets to your knees, yeah. Are you when just is wearing, it okay? Like, MC Hammer pants. <laughs> and when are you okay? when are you dressed like Aladdin? <laughs> That's <laughs> also true. Are you just I think wearing you're Aladdin pants? Dressed like Aladdin. <laughs> I mean, and when that happens, is that in or are you back out or what's cool? I don't know. I've never seen anyone dressed as Aladdin, so I don't know whether that's cool or not. You could be the one that gets that trend. You get that. So I'm going to go to our school and we're like a Fez type hat and uh-huh. a vest with no shirt under it. A, a vest with no shirt. And, and a joggers monkey. and barefoot. No. I wouldn't say that's no. not cool. Didn't he have a sash and a sword? Later, no. didn't he? When he was like a prince. Yeah. He was, he was but a pauper. He did not have a sword. Oh. Yeah, when he was like, yeah, when he, that was a whole other costume. Okay. That was sorry. a whole other person. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that I don't like the inefficiency of these pants you're describing. Uh, the, the, it sounds they like this pockets. extra fabric fabric is fabric. Uh, fabric. Extra fabric is unnecessary. <laughs> it's inefficient. I need my pants to, to be, you know, more. More more function than form. But you know, they're very comfortable. They have a drawstring at the top, so you can make them as tight as loose as you want. They're made out of very soft material, and they have pockets. Is this just like a form of teenage rebellion that every generation has, using too much fabric for pants in some way? Because we had the Junko jeans that you, you guys discussed. Like, that always, That's to true. me, just was appalling. Because it's like, you could make five pairs of jeans out of that one stupid pair of jeans you're wearing. That one big giant pair of jeans. I do no, what I want. I have all this fabric. <laughs> well, that's, that's true because if you think about it, something that I wore that I know definitely wasn't like a 90s thing, it was because I thought it was cool anyway. I had like real deal bell bottoms, yeah, like yeah, yeah. old 70s bell bottoms. Like what was cool when like mom and dad were in school. Exactly. I even had a pair of bell bottoms that like, so they were super tight until right below the knee. And then they were lace, <laughs> giant those. lace bells. Cool. <laughs> Uh, i used to wear those to school <laughs> yeah sorry there uh, you go i don't okay i was not alive at this time but i feel like that was not cool no i ever. don't think it was cool i think that they were supposed to be for like halloween like for i dressed as a hippie for halloween and then i just started wearing them to school <laughs> you're like charlie throughout the month of october you wear a different costume every day i just i was like oh this is the and mom probably told me it was fine I was oh just, yeah 100 oh, percent. Sure. yeah I mean, because I was really into that, like, I had, not just those, I had, like, more subtle bell bottoms, but were definitely bell bottoms, mm-hmm. and I would wear those with, like, um, those long, flowy, what we call, like, poet shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? I had, I had a ton of those, of, like, long, gauzy, like, yeah, big, long, yeah, like, did. huge sleeves. I have shirts like that. I loved when they were a little bit off the shoulder and had like stitching yeah. in the front or like a yeah. drawstring in the front, like some weird. Or like a drawstring, but like it crisscrosses all the way up. Is that is that like what you're talking exactly, about? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like a pirate shirt. Yeah. <laughs> like a peasant top. 
Mm. Yes. Yeah. Like, Cindy, we were, were, doing... you, were you always in like cosplay? <laughs> <Were you> like, <laughs> no, I really somewhere? thought it was like in. Like, I really thought like check. We were doing. Me. <laughs> we were doing a show where we all had to dress as different like uh, stereotypes of high school people, and I was the hippie one. So my costume was a pair of bell bottom jeans that mom had that were kind of like what you described except without lace like right below the knee they just went out super big and hemp shoes and a top like that that had like drawstrings on it but it was like crisscrossed all the way up to the top and after that show i was like i really dig this i want a pair of bell bottom jeans and i want shirts like this and now i own those things that was sort of what i did and i i will tell you too it didn't i don't know that that made me popular to wear that to school every day but there were several times I, th- I feel like that was like a popular Halloween costume at some period in time to go as a hippie. Yeah. It was like a, that's a popular thing. popular now. Is that too. still popular? Mm-hmm. I think that's a way of, of like dressing up but not having to try too hard yeah. and also being able to try to make sure you still look good. Yeah, like you still look cute. Yeah. Uh, I think that was the that was the idea because there were a group of, of my friends who would come to my house and just raid my closet for Halloween, Halloween costumes. <laughs> Do you remember yeah, that? We yeah. went trick-or-treating in the neighborhood and everybody was just wearing my clothes. I feel like that was one of those standard pretty girl costumes, you know? There was like, you'd be a hippie or like a cowgirl. Like something that was still <laughs> super cute and you didn't, yeah, you didn't Except look I like you too much in costume. Like. I think that's probably true. <laughs> Thanks, Tay. Yeah, I, no, it was st- standard pretty girl costume. Yeah, like we had decade day last year for Spirit Week at our school and the 90% of the female population of the school was dressed as a hippie. And the other, included. The other ten percent is always in poodle skirts. Oh yeah. yeah, that was another one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, poodle skirts and like all white kids and ascots tied around their neck. Yeah. <laughs> um well Riley, what one of the things you've alluded to when we've talked about some of this stuff in the past is that some of the things that were really popular fashion choices for us back in the nineties, and we've mentioned a few, I think we need to talk about some more, are coming back. Yeah. Like not the huge jeans, okay. Not those. May those may those um, never ever come back. <laughs> I, I think hope that's they don't. Revelations is a sign of the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we keep and doing that, we're gonna run out of denim. Earth. <laughs> yeah, we're just never gonna be able to wear jeans ever again. Um, but like, did you all wear chokers a lot? Yeah, yeah. that's a thing. Mm. Um, did you all wear like tight, like short, short sleeve t shirts, like baby doll tees? Oh, is that what yeah. they're called? Like that. That's in. And they usually had, like, I don't remember exactly which ones you had, Tay, but I know I had ones that either had, like, quirky little statements or, like, cool-looking cartoon people on them. Like, I remember I had one. (laughs) So I I would wear this with giant jeans, and it was a baby doll T-shirt of a girl wearing giant jeans, (laughs) like (laughs) like a little cartoon girl in a baby doll T-shirt and giant jeans on my baby doll T-shirt. It was like this endless... Like Russian and on nesting her, doll. On her baby doll t-shirt was a picture of a girl wearing a baby doll t-shirt and jeans. But I would wear that. And then I had another one. You'll remember this, Tay. That was a little teeny black baby doll t-shirt that had a picture of a jar on oh, it. Oh, I was going to say that. Yes. That said, I'm not a jar. It said, labels are for jars and I, I am, am not, not a, a jar. jar. I've heard so much about that shirt. I also really want it. Hey, it was a cool shirt. You know, I bet you could find that online somewhere. I now. hope so. That was the coolest t-shirt ever. Yeah, I have a lot of like tight short t-shirts. I have little like sayings like right in the corner, like where you'd have a pocket. Oh, okay. Like that. Mm-hmm. Um, did you all ever wear high-waisted pants? No. High-waisted skirts, high-waisted pants. I think the, the waistline of pants was dropping during, mm. like I feel like mm-hmm. it was getting lower and lower throughout our teen years. Now I, mean, I feel like it's getting higher. Yeah. I like the like high-waisted all the pants. Right? I do too. I do good, too. Good on that, your generation. Yeah, like all my jeans except for like one pair of high-waisted jeans. I, they're more comfortable. I mean, you know. That is more comfortable, I will say. Because I, I felt like that by the time I was graduating high school, and I, I don't know if this is about the right time, that that was when jeans were getting super low and they would have to sit way down on your hip bones. Yeah, and that like every other thought in your head is just, is my butt crack showing? Is my butt crack showing? <laughs> all the time, all day long. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. You can't, it, you get to a point where it's like, you just can't get, you can't bend over. You can't <laughs> knee. I mean, I don't know. I get, which makes me wonder why I was doing so much of all these like advanced maneuvers while I was wearing jeans. What advanced maneuvers were you doing? <laughs> Bending over. <laughs> like, why wasn't I just standing still more or sitting? But even sitting, you show no, off your butt crack in those jeans. Zone. Yeah, no. 
And it also doesn't work with, I'm assuming, the baby doll t-shirts were shorter. Uh, like, they weren't fully. so much space. So then you have a short shirt that's, like, pulling up in the back. And then you sit down and your jeans are so low, your butt crack showing. And then you can just see all of your back. Well, but that crop top look was really in, too. That is that is in now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of crop tops. That Well, and I shouldn't, well, I shouldn't say crop top. I should say bare midriff. Because it wasn't mm-hmm. like, and it, like, the shirt was just short and the pants were low. And so you had a bare midriff. Queen yeah. Morgendorfer. Exactly. Huh. From Who? Daria. Oh, okay. Daria's sister. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Like that. That was that was very cool. Uh-huh. I did not do that. That made me too no. nervous. See, now the pants are like getting higher and the shorts are getting shorter. So you're only showing like a tiny, tiny bit of skin because the pants are coming up high enough to cover the large area of midriff that you're showing with the short shirt. Same like with skirts. Better. Like the skirts are higher. Did you all ever wear, I, I doubt you did, like jean skirts? There were jean skirts. Like, not like full I, length, like to your knees, like the same length as a regular skirt, like just above your knees or like mid thigh or something like that, uh, but jeans. I'm going to be honest. I feel like the jean skirt thing was more of like an end of the 80s, early 90s kind of thing. Yeah, I like, I remember when we were much younger having like jean skirts and like ruffled jean skirts mm-hmm. and stuff I that I thought were super. I had one that, again, with the lace, I had like a denim and lace jean skirt. <laughs> Sid, what was up with you in denim and lace? <laughs> I thought that was the coolest, coolest skirt ever. But I feel like through the, like my teen years, there wasn't it wasn't much of a thing. Is that yeah. fair to say, Tay? Do you think I'm remembering that right? Yeah, that was that was definitely more of like a childhood thing that I'm remembering. I don't, I don't remember now. Now plaid skirts, those were those were in. That was those very much a super thing. in. Yeah, yeah. I don't own any plaid skirts, but I do own two denim skirts that have like buttons all the way up the front. Like if you unbuttoned it, it's just like one big long strip of fabric. Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> but I mean, they, they're made of like a stretchy material. Like they're not just denim. So mm-hmm. they're super comfortable because they're stretchy and they're not tight. Like they're wide, like regular skirts, but they go with like anything because jeans go with anything. So they go with anything. I think that's nice. Hmm? I think that's, yeah. I mean, I, and that sounds like used like we, I mean, because you're right, Tay, that the plaid skirt, I think, was the thing if you were going to wear a skirt that, that mm-hmm. was the weird 90s fashion thing. Can like I, I had a purple and green and black plaid skirt yep. hmm? that I thought was the best. Did you wear it all the time? I did. I wore it. I wore it on my first date with Justin. Huh. Oh. Yeah. What? Wait, what year was, that was in the 90s. Oh, right? that was in college. It, so it, that was in... That was during my lifetime. I was still wearing those. Sydney. I, I'm wearing one right now, to be fair. <laughs> Pla- plaid skirts. I mean, I think Clueless really brought that into the yeah. forefront, too. Oh, I love that movie. Uh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I, I understand what you're talking about now. I, was ima- I don't know what I was imagining, but not that. Yeah. Like, pla- that makes more sense. It took me a while to get on the plaid train. Plaid train? Sure. Plaid train. Uh because we went to Catholic school, and my association with, with plaid skirts was not good. So it took right. me a while. That's what I was imagining, that. because that's the only plaid skirt I've ever worn was the one I had to wear for private school. Yeah, this is a right. private school you all went to. I yeah, had to wear yeah. a plaid skirt every day with either a navy or a burgundy top. Yeah. So I, I, there were there were better plaids out there, Riley. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I was imagining when you all were saying that, and I was like, mm. No, no. It was like funky different colors of plaid. Yeah, See, like, I'd be into that. Yeah, and you would wear them, I mean, you could wear them like with t-shirts was mm-hmm. a cool way to offset them. Although I will say this, there was a moment in the 90s where like blazers, like like suit looking mm-hmm. jackets, like blazers were very in. Well, it's like Clueless. They wore blazers that yeah. matched their plaid skirts. I had blazers that I wore to school. Um, cool. I wore a lot of like, also just like white blouses and like sleeveless white blouses with khakis. I don't know where these looks came from i mean i wear khakis now to school they're not i mean they're like skinny jeans that are yeah. khakis I, 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 I remember all of this but i i was i had a and i still do this like i had a uniform for myself like i wore like ironic t-shirt dark colored jeans a pea coat over all of it basically every day to school for like my entire high school career <laughs> Like, I just, this is easy. I can put this on. I cannot think about it. If no one pays too much attention to me, I don't have to change it every day. That's so, so, I remember the trends. I did not partake in them. You were just inspired by all the cartoon characters exactly. you enjoyed. Exactly. I was like, you just have, you wear the same thing every day. Doug Funny can do it. Why can't I? Exactly. <laughs> uh, now, you did say, though, peacoats, now, that was very on trend. Yeah, yeah. 
Peacoats were very... Do you have a peacoat, Riley? I have one that I feel like is a peacoat because you have a very similar one. <laughs> I don't know for sure if it's a peacoat or no, not, but I only... find the rules of peacoat. <laughs> <laughs> I only wear it during the winter. Do you look a little like a sailor when you put it on? Like a sailor in the winter. What? You know, like a... Or a fisherman. No, I mean, it's like... Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to describe it. Now I'm going to paint a picture for you of this peacoat that I have. Um, It's red. Okay. Uh huh. It has... It's like a very soft, like thick material. It has buttons down the front Mm -hmm. and then tie and pockets Mm -hmm. underneath the tie. This sounds like any coat. (laughs) I was going to say. And a collar. Like it's, it's a coat. Other than that. Yeah, you just described a coat. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like there was like a moment where like Navy pea coats were everywhere. Like everybody Uh, was like, do you have your Navy pea coat? I have a coat that I wear to school whenever it's cold outside. Like every day that it's cold outside, like I don't change up my coats. But it's like an olive color mm-hmm. and it's got um, a big furry hood and it zips up the front and it like comes in at the waist. It doesn't tie, but it comes in at the waist. So it's tighter and then kind of goes out at the bottom. Is that a peacoat? No. No. It's definitely not a peacoat. <laughs> well, that's what I wear to school every day when it's cold outside. Not anymore because it's spring, but yeah, during the winter. Hmm. Um, as far as one thing we haven't really talked about, shoes. Um, uh, there was There was like a moment... Um, and I think this is probably still in where I, I'd say the nineties is when Doc Martens really yeah. came into their I own. love Doc Martens. Um, especially, so yeah. If you would wear your docs with like a, like a baby doll dress, like a little floral print baby doll dress. Now is a baby a doll dress Martins. the kind of dress that doesn't really have any like coming, like any cinching or anything tight anywhere. It just kind of like is all one big flowy thing. It might have like a princess waistline, like kind of a high, you know? Yeah, like yeah. right under yeah. like your chest. Yeah, exactly. And, right. And yeah. like usually like like capped sleeves, like a kind of a boat neck, like, but yeah, mm-hmm. like like a little girly, a little girl dress. And okay. maybe some little buttons in the front and mm-hmm. too short. I mean, well, right, I don't yeah. want to say too short. That sounds judgy. For me, Very for short. my for my taste, it was too short. But, that's okay. Yeah. That's a kind of dress now they call baby doll dresses, except the sleeves are more spaghetti strap sleeves, mm-hmm. um, not cap sleeves. But then the neck is very similar, and it has like either a waistline right under your chest or none, and it just goes straight down. Very short. See, I couldn't. Those made me again. They made me nervous because I was worried that I'd bend over and my butt would show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, All those uh, <laughs> uh, very uh, in in depth maneuvers. <laughs> all those maneuvers I was doing all day. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I just like dropped things a lot or whatever, but I, just, <laughs> I, I felt very risky in those kinds of clothes. I wore a lot of the long floral print risky skirts. Risky or risque? Yeah. Both. You, like, needed a, you needed a safety zone in your, in your clothes. I, I respect that. I did. And like the long floral print skirts of the time usually had like slits up the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like you could walk in them and stuff, but I had a lot of those. I would wear a lot of those with like, I don't know, tank tops and cardigans. I wear a lot of tank tops and cardigans. Uh, one thing that was super, I say it was super cool. I don't know if that's true, but they were definitely popular. Were those spray painted t-shirts that you get at the mall? <laughs> you remember those? Like everybody had them and it was super big deal. Like if you got one with your friend, but then your other uh-huh. friend didn't get one. Like I remember there was a huge fight in my friend group because one of my friends had one made for me and her with, Wait for it. Sailor Moon and Sailor Venus on it. And it said best friends. And we each had one. <laughs> and all of, our other, all of our other quote unquote Sailor Scouts got super angry about it. Um, I, I remember those. You know what, though? I think it's sad is like I, I remember looking back and seeing people with those and I always envied them. And I never <laughs> had one. <laughs> I always wanted you one that said something on like, your own. you know, best friends, 1998 <laughs> on it or something. And I never had yourself. anything like that. Like just best get of one friends and be like, oh, I mean, somebody has, a, has the other one. She goes to a school somewhere else in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I have a friend somewhere who has this other shirt. <laughs> best buds. Oh. Awesome buds. Oh, Sid. Super cool you. friends. I'm very sad for you. Um. <laughs> I don't have any of those. I can also say I've never, I can't say never. I very, very rarely ever see anyone wearing one. No. I I don't think they're in anymore. No. Okay. Um, going back to shoes. Did you all wear a lot of jelly shoes? Jellies were in in the early 90s again, I think. Yeah, that's something in, we had as kids. 
Yeah, we definitely had those. I would say later in the '90s, I were, like I had my Doc Martens because those were cool. I knew I those Doc were cool, Martins. and I had those, and I liked them. Mm-hmm. And I knew when I wore them, like I am in. Yeah, <laughs> I am in style. Uh, but um, I also wore a lot of Birkenstocks. I was going to say Birkenstocks. Those Wait, were... you mean like like the sandals that just have like two straps across? Yep, that is a very very in thing now. Like, are they super in? in. No way. I don't own any. I mean, I personally don't like sandals, like any kind of sandals. I just hate wearing sandals. But that is a very, very big thing now. And I'm not kidding. Sid, did you like, wear them with socks? No. Oh, see, wearing them with socks during the winter. Uh-huh. Like, um, they didn't become an... Okay, at my school, they weren't a thing that everyone had until, like, November, December. Like, everyone got them for Christmas and then wore them, like, January, December. Um, But they wore them with, like, big fuzzy socks and leggings and then their Birkenstocks. Um, but now everyone just wears them now that it's warm outside, just wears them to school all the time. No, I just, I mean, I just wore them. Like I, you wouldn't have worn them with socks. Like that wasn't cool. See, now it's cool to wear them with socks when wow. it's cold out. Cold out. No, those went very well with like my, my like <laughs> hemp chokers. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. With like puka shells and oh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> puka shells. Those were just always so itchy. I couldn't handle it. They were very itchy. I actually, I was one of those. I learned how to make them, and I would. I had like my little box of beads <laughs> and like my hemp, and I would make hemp. See, now I'm imagining that beads. girl from from Napoleon Dynamite that walks <laughs> around with her little like carrying like her roller suitcase, yeah, uh, with all of her bracelets. Does she make bracelets and necklaces? Mm-hmm. Like her bracelet and necklace making supplies. Now I'm just imagining Sydney carrying around one of those, and like anyone want to choke her? Can make you one. I was very good at that. If you remember, Taylor, I also did a lot of I did I did the chokers. I could do the um the ones in your hair, the uh, hair uh, yep. hair, wraps, hair wraps. The hair wraps. The things you got See, in Myrtle Mom. Beach, but you learned yeah. to do them for us at home. See, that's yeah. where I learned. Uh, I got one at Myrtle Beach, and as the girl was doing it, I was like, This is amazing. I want to know how to do it. And so she was showing me some of them, and she was like, Here's what the get this book, and then you can learn how. And so I went home and like got a bunch of thread and was practicing on myself and on like dolls and stuff. Like, how can I get to and then I was like the expert. I was like, I can do hair wraps, I can See, do all the tricks. Hair I'm the best. And in elementary school. Those are the things. Yeah. Hannah was Hannah, yeah. Hannah is a thing now. Is Hannah back in? Um, but mom convinced me in elementary school that hair wraps were very in. <laughs> so I remember there was one time where I was sick or like maybe I just got my tonsils taken out. So I was home for a few days from school. She was like, I'm going to give you a hair wrap and then you're going to go back to school with a super cool hair wrap and you're going to love it. And everyone's going to love it. And it was not cool. No. It was not in. But I wore it for like a month because it didn't come out until you... <laughs> Took it out pretty much. Yeah, you, you have to cut, cut your hair. hair. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess mom did it. And then she has cut all my hair off when I wasn't aware of it. She was like, okay, it's out now. So <laughs> that was always the bummer about when you cut your hair wrap out because then you have just this like little short chunk of hair mm-hmm. like <laughs> that's kind of like sticking out at the back of your neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People would save them like they're old hair wrapped in uh, you would just keep them which was gross. Ew. Super yes, gross. I, I did. Hair I did do so that. Sydney. Like, no. It was so pretty. You can but give it's your them hair. hair. When I have a friend, I'll give this to them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that. Oh my gosh. That's that maybe that was your problem, Sydney. Maybe that's why you didn't make very many friends, is because every time you made a friend you were like, Do you want my old hair wrapped in an old hair wrap? I didn't think that. Do you want me to put a hair wrap in your hair? I can show you things I've done before. They're all surrounded or they're all covering in my old hair, but you know, I'll still do it for you. No, no, I didn't do that, but I will say this. I, is it still a thing? Are the best friend necklaces still a thing? Do people still do that? No. Or was that really? exclusive to our time period? Um, no. The little hearts that you can, like, either they come as one whole heart and then they're, like, perforated so you can break now, them in I half say, or it's two pieces that come separate. I will say when I was in elementary school, I remember there were, like, four birthdays in a row where I would have birthday parties and at least two people would get me. I mean, obviously they weren't my best friends but they would get me those necklaces that say best friends on them Uh and like one time it was like two halves of a heart or like two full hearts and they were like mood hearts like the mood rings and necklaces and one said best and one said friends that's was that was that a thing when you all like mood rings yeah mood rings were big they were well i think the movie my girl made them really big too i've never seen that movie oh don't it's too sad it was on Netflix. I saw it last night when I was just watching a bunch of random movies. And it was on there, and I almost clicked on it. It's like, mm, mm, yeah, I, I, mm, I rewatched that recently. It was at a sensitive time in my life, and probably a very bad decision. 
<laughs> is it really that sad? It's, it's sad. quite sad. Does someone die? It will make you hate bees. I, we can't ruin. We hate can't bees? ruin my girl for anyone who has not managed <laughs> to see saying. my girl yet. So someone dies by bees. No, we're not, we, we can't talk that. about this Nobody anymore. Said that. You watch my girl right up until the end and then turn it off <laughs> for the last. What is it like twenty yeah, minutes? Just, <laughs> so it's like the just episode of Friends, bingo. Just stop where bingo. Phoebe doesn't know how old Yeller ends, right? Yeah. And then they show it to her like they're all watching it. And she's like, no, it ends right here where they're all happy. And she doesn't know about the part where the dog dies. Mm. Right? It's like that. We're not saying what it's like. I'm not going to say anything No, like else. you're telling Just me to turn it off. Like Spoiler alert for in. a 20-year-old movie. Is that what we're doing right now? I don't know. So what anyway. The, what's the, how long do you have to wait before you can ruin a movie for somebody? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I feel like that if we say it, somebody's going to get mad and it be like, true, I have been true. waiting for the last 15 years to watch that. I've been busy and Wait, I've been meeting it on watch Netflix. It. <laughs> I've just now had free time. I had it planned it is for on Netflix Saturday night. Now. It is on Netflix. It is. It is. So see, I am not discouraging anyone from watching that movie, by the way. It's a great movie. It's just extremely sad. So mm. like, I don't know. Don't watch it. Yeah. Ever. When you're when you're a lot like sad don't watch it when you're sad but hey what? watch it when you're happy so you have <laughs> so you'll get sad. You'll get if sad. you want to be so sad sometimes you want to <laughs> yeah. be sad you know sometimes you want to hate bees it's a great movie for those occasions there you go if you like that if you like sometimes when people or people around you when there's sadness like sometimes charlie wants me to cry like she likes that She'll yeah she tells cry, me Mom. to cry sometimes yeah crisis sometimes like that sure yeah <laughs> like she'll like i'll help her build the tower and then she'll come over and knock it down. And I'm like, oh, Charlie, why'd you do that? And she looks at me and just goes, cry, <laughs> cry. <laughs> You're like, why well, do you want me to be <laughs> well, I think I think we've covered, did we miss any major 90s? I feel like those were like the biggest things of the 90s, like fashion influences. Um, I mean, certainly there were a lot of other, and like I, we're talking as if, and I think Taylor, you've already alluded to this, as if we were always wearing these kinds of clothes. Like if it, if it fit my sensibilities, like I said, overalls were in for a moment. I was all about it. And I kept wearing those suckers long after they weren't in anymore. And I, if anyone knows where to find a pair of overalls, please send them to Sydney. Um, or send them to me <laughs> because I want them. They are all over. I, you asked me this the other day. Yeah. And I looked it up. There's tons of them. And now the only difference is overalls back in the day were like normal. Like the jeans were just like baggy and comfortable. Baggy, and now they're like skinny jeans. Now they're all like skinny jeans See, I've on been the looking bottom. for a pair of overalls that are like skinny jeans because then it's like you're wearing like skinny jeans as pants. But you can wear them and then they come up all over the top and you can wear whatever you want under them. Mm. If anyone knows where to find those skinny jean overalls, I'm hit just, me up. Not too long ago. Got a pair of uh, of leather overalls. Ooh, really? Yeah, and they stayed in my closet, and I looked at them like every day, and said, "Today, are you the girl today that wears the leather overalls?" <laughs> and when I moved about a month ago, I finally decided just to get rid of them because I will never be the girl that wears leather overalls. <laughs> Whoever she is out there, kudos, but just never going to happen for me. Don't you love? Don't you love those kind of fashion challenges? <laughs> I did that. Yeah. Um, I did that when I bought myself my, uh, uh, I went online and I bought a, what am I trying to say? Not a onesie. A onesie? A jumper? Oh, like a romper? A romper. A romper. Mm, yeah. I couldn't yeah. think of it. <laughs> Not a, a onesie. onesie. <laughs> like the pajamas. <laughs> what is the, it's named, all I could think was, you know, they're named after some sort of article of baby clothing, except now we're, we put adult women in them. <laughs> <laughs> right. it's so creepy actually now that i think about it it is right like uh, wait, don't think about it too much because no. then there's a lot you could say about <laughs> sexism and society and paternalism mm -hmm. and Not i don't know it gets really creepy <laughs> exactly <laughs> anyway they're called rompers <laughs> i have one and i bought it thinking this seems like a fashion trend i could get on board with because they look super comfortable mm. but see then you put them on and to go to like the bathroom, you have to get completely naked. Yep. And also, I don't know about you all, but I mean, I have like a longer torso <laughs> and not as long legs. <laughs> so whenever I put one on, it's like the <laughs> waist part is like all the way up and then the shorts are super short. Is that what's wrong? I couldn't figure out. I put it on and I kept looking at myself in the mirror and <laughs> trying to figure out what was wrong. <laughs> like something is off. Something about me has ceased. Not like, oh, I look so bad. Like... 
I don't look like a normal, like, like you homo like sapien. Like child. <laughs> yeah. Like my proportions are all like my middle looks smushed. But then when I turned around, my butt looks super long and I didn't know why. And yeah. I, like none of it looked right. And I kept thinking like, well, it's because it, it was right after I had Charlie. I was like, well, I just I, I've so I'm working on like losing some weight and tightening up and toning after, you know, having a baby and everything. And like, well, maybe uh, down the road it'll look better. I have put that sucker on periodically, like once a month for like the last year and a half. Oh. It never looks better. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. It just doesn't. I, I can't make rompers work on me. I love rompers and I actually buy them whenever I'm buying summer clothes, like whenever I'm buying like shorts and stuff. I always end up getting like at least two or three rompers because I just like them so much. But I always have to get at least like a size or two sizes bigger than what I usually get in clothing. Like it fits me when it's the smaller size, but mm -hmm. it's either super short or the top is like super short, like under my chest. And then it's like the shorts are like riding up my butt. So I have to get like two sizes larger. So then it's like, this is super baggy, but I guess I can like tighten it up and like put a safety pin in the back and then it's Aww. actually proportionate to my body. Because there's a constriction on, on, on distance between shoulders to crotch. Like that is a mm -hmm. built-in ratio. But yeah. maybe we're just weird. Maybe we're just yeah. weird designed humans. <laughs> I was actually talking to mom about that the other <laughs> day. Yeah, because she has the same problem. Like her torso is longer, <laughs> but dad we just has super long, long legs and a short torso. So I feel like we just all got mom's torso and we all just have super long torsos i don't know <laughs> it's something that you're right though there is something wrong with that i don't want to say wrong but in terms of romper wearing you yeah i am not my body just isn't suitable have, for the romper we don't have the body type that is uh given to you that you have to wear with a romper any, which is a bummer because they I, like i look at them on people and i think that looks great yeah. i want to wear it and it looks comfortable it and is. it's one yeah. thing but any, it's one thing and it's not a dress which is like the perfect like thing shorts. for me to be able to w have one article of clothing that i can put on and wear out of the house and have no other articles to have mm -hmm. to wear but it's not a dress because then it's a skirt and then my legs touch when i walk and i hate that yeah feeling when it's hot yeah, yeah. I, I just don't like anything <laughs> that i have to get completely <laughs> naked to, to pee in like that's yeah that's my only problem you, with them you have to get completely naked well, we had do you remember body suits Sid? yes it would put under your crotch Those are the see worst. Th so that's a like, onesie like i mean yeah, at least we called them body suits but it's a onesie so that's it that was in when you all were yeah, in high school they were yeah super like it, you put it over pants yeah, you'd, or you'd put like it under pants so it looks like you're just wearing it. a tight shirt yeah 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 that's a thing now i don't have any but that's a thing you know what else was in in, in like clothing that like equipped itself on you <laughs> were um do you remember stirrup pants? With the oh, little thing that went under yes, your foot? Yes, yes. What? So it was a, it, they were pants and they were like real tight, stretchy pants. And then they would have like this little extra band of fabric that went like underneath your foot. Why would you want that? Well, to like pull them as tight as possible. All right. Yeah. So it was like Ugh. attached under your foot too. Uh, that sounds very uncomfortable. And now that was something like I remember like the stirrup pants in like some sort of bright color with like a, a long T-shirt mm -hmm. that would go over the stirrup pants in like a complimentary. Mm -hmm. Like all this would be like sold together. <laughs> right. I feel that was, you know? that, was a, that was a cool girl move, the stirrup pants. I, I never went for them. That was, that was a different social class than me. <laughs> stirrup you pants. know, you're right. I actually don't think I, I don't think I ever owned any. I just remember looking at friends and thinking like, yeah, wow. He's rocking that. You're, She's so cool. She's got stirrup pants. Yeah, like stirrup I, pants I, uh, and the bangs that were just one little roll. Yep. You know, that yeah. was a package. I can't imagine that being very Mom used to call that poopy curl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she I, would define was, girls that way, like those mean girls with the poopy curl bangs. <laughs> there, were, there, were two, there, were two, there were two girls who went to middle school with that I didn't like very much and didn't like me very much. But they had bangs like that, like just one big like little like boop, poopy girl like over your <laughs> forehead and i was like mom i'm gonna show you these girls i don't like very much and they walked out of school and she said they have poopy bangs <laughs> like, wait what but you just stay said, away from those girls they're always bad poopy bangs. <laughs> yeah um did you all wear this is kind of going back to robbers uh like jumpers like their body suits kind of like they're rompers okay this is a better way to describe them they're rompers but they're full length pants no. no okay have you ever worn those no that i have not i those i've seen those in though like oh, i i, I look at mod cloth a i said bodysuits and jumper it's like mm. you mean like jumpsuit yeah kinda, jumpsuits. yeah I, those actually I, again i think that was a fashion style that predated us mm -hmm. 
it would have been, you're going back to like even 70s, yeah, I feel like, yeah. for those kinds See, of. See, now that's one that I can never wear because when I get them in larger sizes, it's like the pants either are way too long or way too short and it's super baggy. So it just makes my legs look super big. So it's like I can never wear those because the pants will either be like high waters or they're just like over my feet. Now, what about what about like tying up your shirts? Is that okay? <laughs> Again, because I used to have with like the scrunchie on the side, or you could actually buy those those clips, on the, the plastic yeah. clips. Yep, in different shapes that would like pull up, so you'd get a really large t shirt and then just like wad up one <laughs> one corner of the bottom and like put it in a scrunchie See, or or something like that. That, and that was, I had like Daffy Duck on it with like a attitude and baggy jeans off. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I've ever done that is when you let me take like an oversized sweatshirt from you that I liked yeah. and it's super big on me, like super big because it wasn't even yours. Uh-huh. Um, but I it wore was, it. was I, Scampy Mike's. It was Scampy Mike's. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to wear it to school because it was really comfortable like on the inside, but I didn't want to wear like a super long one. So I took it and I tied it up on one side Besides so I could sit. Sweatshirt? So I could, yeah. So I could like sit in desks without it hitting the back of the desk is that cool like is that in i i've never seen anyone else do it but it was super comfortable so and no so, and i had a bunch of <laughs> well a bunch of people were like hey that's cute because it was like a fraternity sweatshirt <gasps> so everyone was like Riley. oh my god that's cute so i started to trend did you, you you were the wow i've seen people okay i'm not kidding the fraternity that was on the front of it um i about two weeks after i wore that sweatshirt i saw at least Five freshman girls wearing sweatshirts that had that fraternity on it. I am not kidding because I was walking out of school and I was getting in the car and I said, Mom, do you see those sweatshirts they're wearing? And she said, yeah, that looks like the fraternity that Scampy Mike went to. And I said, it is. It's also the same fraternity I wore that sweatshirt for like two weeks ago. They all own them now and they all tie them up on the back or on the sides. You're kidding me. I started it. you control it. fashion, really? I think I I haven't since ever, but I did that one time. Just That's make it amazing. as comfortable as possible. Just see what you can pull off, like towards you're like comfort. Ver- you're like Veronica Lodge. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I am. No, wait, one, no. One time she went to school with a box on her head just to prove that anything she wore would catch on as popular fashion, and so then everybody started going with a box. So on it's their like head. Regina George and Mean Girls, where they try to cut like the boobs out of her shirt. Yeah. yeah. So after gym class, but then the next day everyone's wearing the boobs cut out of their shirt. Exactly. Mm. yeah exactly i did the that same thing um uh that's I, impressive. I, I don't think i'll ever be able and it was girls i didn't know either like i'd never seen them but i saw them walking in the hallway like they were the popular girls of the freshman class um this was this year so they're younger than me but yeah i've never done that since i don't have that power anymore i guess but like one time use maybe hey that's still <laughs> that's worth that the story is worth telling yeah so i don't think i ever started any trends i don't think anybody was ever like is that a jimmy buffett t-shirt yeah <laughs> Are, does it have dolphins on it? Um, I need it. Are there are there dolphins and seashells and also an ocean like <laughs> tableau in the background? And also, is that the Jolly Mon? Oh my gosh! Do you have tour dates on the back? That's super cool. Did, did you have Peace Frog shirts? Sid? Did you have a Peace I, Frog? I. You know what? I. I yes, I remember mm. Peace Frog. Why I didn't? Because it feels like something I should have had. <laughs> it does. <laughs> But I didn't have those, like Save Frog the t-shirt. Rainforest shirts you could buy from that catalog to like support the rainforest. I did. I did have that hat that I got, that little bucket oh, hat at bucket the Rainforest hats. Cafe. Those were hideous. Mm-hmm. I wore that hat all the time. Yeah, Sydney. <laughs> I, I had a what? Sailor Moon bucket hat. Oh, God. You did. You did. <laughs> did. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Guys. Riley. <laughs> well, um, Riley, I don't know that, again, I feel like we don't have a lot of good advice for you when it comes to fashion. (laughs) Here's what you don't wear. You know, I feel like you almost do, though, because what you wore back then was that's popular now. Well, and I will say this. Don't um, just wear what's comfortable. Oh, I do. Like, look, you never know what's going to be popular and you never know why it is. And as soon as it's popular, it might be unpopular again. And then like you've wasted time and money and maybe it was uncomfortable. So you've also been uncomfortable for no good reason, Mm -hmm. which I never advocate. Ever. (laughs) Sydney always just chooses comfortability. (laughs) To this day, I am, yes, I am wearing right now. I know they're not on trend. I'm wearing baggy jeans. I'm also wearing a t-shirt that guess what? My boobs come out of really easily (laughs) for breastfeeding later. Uh, So I would always advocate comfort over all else, but you never know. You wore a sweatshirt. 
a really big sweatshirt and you tied it up on the side and you started a trend and who would have guessed so just wear what's comfortable you yeah. might you might be the fashion leader maybe i am maybe yeah. just no one knows it or i don't know it everyone knows it except for me maybe i am well and i, I so would agree with what sid said because I, I don't know like i think i've had my same style pretty much my whole life and sometimes it's in most of the times it's out but I don't have to replace my wardrobe all the time. I can have the same clothes that I've had since high school and it's super fine and it's way less it's true. It's been way less of my day thinking about what I'm going to wear and doing other things. So that's true. That's nice. Yeah. So be comfortable and live your life like uh, Doug Funny. <laughs> Just who? A cartoon character. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, man. We'll oh. fix that someday. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, sisters. This has been fun. Yeah. Um, reminiscing about all of our poor fashion choices. Mm. And Riley, you have educated us. I've tried. I'm going to go get yeah. myself some penguin pants, tie up a sweatshirt on the side, be super comfy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go try on my romper for the 80th time and see if it looks good now. It, here's a sneak peek. It won't. It still doesn't. Spoiler alert. Maybe it maybe won't. they'll make drop crotch rompers and then you'll be fine. Hey, and there they, you go. There, that's what we need. <laughs> yeah. Someone invent that, please, now. Please. Zoolander, are you Lizzie? <laughs> Zoolander, <laughs> Somebody now, uh, please make me these. these are you there, Zoolander? It's me, Sydney. <laughs> um, thank you to everybody who's listening to our show. Thank you if you're a part of our Facebook group. Please come join it. If you're not still buffering on Facebook, uh, tweet at us at Still Buff. Check out maximumfun.org. That is the wonderful network of podcasts of of which we are one. <laughs> of which we are one of which we are one we have, one. Uh, we have many <laughs> we have <maximum> fun. <laughs> ah. maybe they'll like that for a new motto there are lots of other great shows that you can come check out so please please do um if you have any ideas or thoughts about the show uh things you'd like to hear us talk about you can email us at still buffering at maximum dot org um and thank you to the novellas for our theme song baby you change your mind yeah so this has been Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McRoy. I'm Taylor Smurl. I am a teenager. And, and I, I was too. Podcasts. 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 <laughs> They're audio programs that tell smart stories in innovative ways using editing techniques like, like this. this. Like this. Like this. Yeah. But let's face it, all that smart stuff can be exhausting. That's where Stop Podcasting Yourself comes in. It's so stupid. It's just two stupid dinguses being dumb idiot jerks for 90 minutes. Stop podcasting yourself. The stupid show that smart people love. Find it on iTunes. Or MaximumFun.org. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported.